Bad weather, of course. One reason our roads can be dangerous. Another reason, the overall poor condition of them, especially the pavement, as you probably know. In fact, the new report ranks California rural roads as the second deadliest in the nation. News 8's Chris Groh is live now with a first-hand look here. This morning, been driving around. How are the roads looking out there? Why not just take a look for yourself right here? We're actually able to show you with one of our cameras up here on our sat truck. This is Sunrise Highway. We're up here in Mount Laguna. We came up here to see the snow, but also to see the conditions of these rural roads. And when you think about rural roads, obviously this it, it, they are remote, but they are traveled by agricultural experts, people who live out here, farmers. So it's important that they're in good condition because they're oftentimes a little bit uh, more dangerous just by their very nature. So let's look at the numbers that were put together by TRIP. It's a nonprofit research group that studies infrastructure. And the numbers, they're not good for California. 32% of rural roads in California are in poor condition. That's second only to Rhode Island. 9% of rural bridges are in poor condition. That's 20th in the country, a little bit better. But you mentioned that fatality rate. California's is 3.16 per 100 million vehicles uh, excuse me, 100 million vehicle miles of travel. So what does that all mean? Well, basically, California is number two next to Rhode Island on how many people die on these rural roads. And according to TRIP, that number is four times higher compared to other metro roads and highways in the state. And as we saw last year in August, San Diego's metro roads aren't even that much better. So again, this is important in large part because of the fact that we have agricultural uh, experts and uh, people that are in that industry and farmers that ranchers, they take these roads. It affects the economy, obviously, if you have a crash or anything like that. And we've seen that infrastructure is a big point of contention and conversation in Washington, D.C. Trip and others are hoping that there's something that can be done between both sides in order to improve not only rural roads, but roads uh, really across the nation.